Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Um, welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to like, subscribe, share. Um, and yeah, to my subscribers, thank you for your support, your encouragement, your advice, your comments, love and all. Um, basically today, I felt as though I needed to share this information. It is about um, a new system. The Home Office is spending 800 or has spent 842 million pounds on a biometric program that is coming out next year. <clears throat> it was supposed to come out two years ago, but it's been delayed. And, you know, as the investigators go and they're kind of saying, why is it taken so long? And they've been trying to fine tune it anyway. It's coming out next year. And this 842 million biometric um, program is absolutely phenomenal. So I felt I needed to tell you what it's going to do so you're aware, because otherwise we're left to the elements. So um, the 842 million biometric program is going to store millions of people's highly sensitive biometric data and it's due to go live next year. The Home Office Biometric Programme has three main modalities. Well, actually four. DNA, which we all know about. The fingerprint identification, which we know about. The facial recognition, although faulty, we know about that. And it also has a footwear biometric component which was new to me. Um, the footwear biometrics is, they reckon that, you know, like our fingerprints, our footprints can give them a wealth of information about the individual. They're actually making insoles that will um, pick up your gait, will pick up all different elements of your foot and use it as a security measure so you can enter secure areas just based on this special shoe that they give you that they put the insole in. So anyway, they, uh, that is also a part of this big biometric system. So um, the biometric program is set to interact with the Home Office Natch national law enforcement data, which is the old bill, the police, the Home Office Biometrics Program, which is immigration, the Emergency Services Network, which is the government's chosen option to replace the airwave system, um, which are 107 police, fire and ambulance services in England, Scotland and Wales used for communicating between control room and the field. It's also going to interact with lo local authorities, utility services, and um, first responders. So literally everybody and every company and institution that you are compelled to be involved with, this biometric program is going to be interacting with them and merging all the data that they get from all of these various sources. Plus, that's not all, the automatic number plate recognition system, so also with the DVLA. So, think about it. The police, the fire, the ambulance, which is the hospital, the whole of the NHS system, um, local authorities, where you get your homes, your, your um, council tax, um, your DWP, it's all a part of the same thing, utility services, your gas, your electricity, and first responders, anybody who comes on the scene, like, um, I don't know if they mean, um, you know, like paramedics or something, and um, DVLA, that's everybody, really, basically. Um, in October, the Home Office awarded a US company, Lidos, £300 million for a 10-year contract. What are they going to do? They're going to connect the Home Office Legacy Ident 1 for UK police 
police force and law enforcement with immigration and asylum biometrics program. So nobody's going to be able to sneak through. Uh, and then also, I'm not quite sure um, what... I'm not sure what they're going to do with people in custody, but custody images are also under review to infiltrate them into this big biometric system. I think there's something that's they talk there's something quite not ethical about that because um, there's 21 million shots of faces and identifying features, scars and tattoos in the custody image database. They want to kind of merge it with this biometric program. And of course, there's people on there who don't even know that they're on there. And they're saying you can get your, your face removed, the image removed. But if you don't know it's on there, how are you going to get it removed? So uh, every possible thing about you is going to be on this biometric program. I don't understand why it has to be done by America, why they can't give that contract to the UK, keep the money in the country, keep people in employment. Why don't they do that? Why does it have to go to USA? Mmm, I smell a rat. Definitely something going on there why they have to use American companies to do our biometric systems. I mean, we have got more than qualified people in the UK that could do that. So will your tattoo betray you then? Those tattoos that you love so much. So that's all I've really got to say, peeps. We don't know what's, how it's going to impact us until next year, but you can guarantee it will. And that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.